Three, two, one. Welcome, Chris, and welcome to the Running Shoe Channel. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. It's uh, it's absolutely brilliant to have you on, Chris. So when you did message me, because um, I did think I've got to get Chris on because you you rung a sort of chord in my tune bucket, so to speak, <laughs> when you mentioned that you get all your shoes on discount. So yeah. here on the Running Shoe uh, Channel, we talk about new shoe to you, whereas if you've got any new shoes, we can talk about your new shoe or yeah. my favorite shoe. But with yourself, because you have quite a collection, I think we can sort of focus on, I mean, do you have, we'll, we'll go through about how people can save money yeah. um, on their running shoes and how you do it and what you do um, and how, you know, it really doesn't make sense to buy a new shoe when it comes out first time. But we'll go more into detail as we go through that. But what's your current running shoe that you've got, Chris? You've got a couple, do you have a couple on rotation? Yeah, so the current ones are, um, we'll start off with my first Nike uh, that I got, which is the Pegasus 35 Turbo. So, so, so this shoe is coming up for a year old. It's got 326 miles on it. And, wow. you know, kind of soul wise, it's got a little bit of wear here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still looks in good condition. Still good condition. But one little tip for everyone is when you buy your new shoe, get yourself a dirt blocker. Spray your shoe. Spray on the outside, yeah. Yeah, spray the spray the sole area, spray it all, and then it stains. Looks like this. <laughs> What's that called? That's Dirt right. blocker. Waterproof. So, um, I got this in America. Uh, it was a birthday gift for ninety pounds. Yeah. Ninety pounds. My first time that I'd gone into Nikes because I was previously into uh, New Balance. Yeah. Um, not as good a bargain as the New Balance one that I got. Sorry, Chris, let me stop you there. Yeah. That dirt blocker, show it to me again. What was that? Because I'm sure everyone's going to see. What's right. that called? So, so this is dirt blocker. Uh, it's just the stuff that you would get when you was in when you're in your shoe shop and they say, do you want to buy the protection? <laughs> this is it. Five pounds. That's it. Five pounds. And it doesn't one. impact the material of the shoe no. or anything? So it's, this doesn't impact the material. And literally just give it a couple of coats over it and it actually makes it waterproof. So when it's they say one -off. Know, it's just a yeah, one-off. Yeah, once I don't spray it again, and you spray it on the shoe, and it just makes it waterproof. So, wow. so when, when you've got the dirt on it, wipe it, come straight off. Wow, brilliant. Okay. Because obviously, you know, you've got all these nice shoes, nice colours. I'm, I love the bright colours, but you know, again, <laughs> um, another good site is um, Pro Sport Direct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it's called Pro Sport Direct. I got these for twenty-six pounds. Wow. Which I don't 26. wear. Them. I don't wear them anymore. These are the people sell impulses. They've probably got about forty miles in them. Yeah, yeah. This caused me to have Achilles problems. So, so okay. these, these have become just the general trainer now. Right, right. So you still do general training in them, but just not. No, no. It's be just a general walking it's around. Good as a. Okay, I got you, got you. So that was 26 quid. So a lot of the trainers that you're holding up there, the normal yeah. price points, you're looking at around 120, 140 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. You're so, getting them at bargain prices. Yeah. So, so the turbo, this is the kind of top end for, for its time. Yeah. We're on the, we're probably on the third generation this now because the turbo two and there must, I think there's a new generation, isn't there? Yeah. So my view, if you like a shoe, then obviously hunt around and see if you can get it again. So then I got it in the blue. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this I got this for seventy five. Yeah. Because I entered in my so called birthday on Nike, and I think they give you a twenty five percent. Twenty five. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't. I had like my that. email. Yeah. Well, birthday. You need to do it in about thirty days in advance. Yeah. Email. Got this for, uh, as I say, seventy five pounds. Don't buy it when it's on sale because they put the price up. Really. So I bought this. It was on for, uh, I think, 110 minus the discount. But then yeah. when they went on sale, they put up to 130. And what? So people, it went up. It literally went up the week later. <laughs> I think what they do is, you know, when the sale comes up, they have the price on the standard and then take the discount off. So you have to, uh, I think it was like £10 extra when it was on sale. Wow, wow. So it's... So, so these guys, but look at the, this. This is the weird one that, that I've only noticed recently. So these have got 286 miles on. These have got right. 326. Okay. 
Which one's your favourite shoe well, right now? Okay. This has got has got nearly a hundred less miles on it, and this one's wearing out than this wow. one. And I think that when you buy these coloured soles, I don't think the compounds as hard. Wow! Wow! So yeah. black shoe looks better. And the same, you know, they're the, 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 the same shoe, so you can see the wear on each side. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can see that's that coming. Is interesting. It's interesting. But, but this, uh, if you want to get a bargain shoe, the Pegasus 35 Turbo, I reckon is good for, I reckon, four to 500 miles. Yeah, yeah. I was the day and I was running at 6.30 pace and this still feels as good. Wow. And you do a lot of a lot of your training. And we did talk about, uh, if, if people want to see the uh, full interview with Chris, you can click on the link there where we talked in detail about the type of training that you do. It's mainly slow runs and some time trials. Yeah, so, so, so if you want an all-round trainer, then this will do your slow run. So whether you're running yeah. at 7.45a, and I, the other day I run a, a mile time trial in, in 5.22. Wow, so it's it's a shoe yeah. for all. The it's, not, it, it, it's, not, it's not the quickest shoe. Yeah. Um, you know, you get into, I'll get into the Zoom flies in a minute, because they do actually make you run, I'd say about 10 seconds a mile quicker. Really? Really? Right. Come on, show us that. So the first one, eBay purchase. Yeah. 45 quid. Wow. Zoom fly one. So this, so this <laughs> 170 miles in it. Good sole, still, still pretty good sole. Right. Uh, they get creases in, they get creases basically in straight away out the box. You, you wear yeah. the box and yeah. they start creasing. This has got the um, the nylon carbon plate in. So is that the original next percent? No, no. This this is Zoom Fly. Okay, so this is before. It's, it's, it's a, so this is not the full on, you know, race version next percent. Right, this right. would have retailed around about 130 now. Okay. And, and, and you got that off eBay. 45 quid delivered. And so, so, so once you purchase stuff like this, you kind of keep your eye open on on eBay. Yeah. And, and, Got it in black. <laughs> I, won, I won this for 50 quid. Right, so, right. So where's exactly the same on these? Strangely, this one is slightly more comfortable than this one. But I find that on my shoes. I can have two shoes the same, but one is slightly more comfortable than the other one. I don't know why that is. I was going to say, how, how is that? Is it probably the uh, manufacturing line? Manufacturing. Um, so the, yeah. the two turbos feel different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I wear the, wore them both for the first time, I got a hot spot under my big toe on both of them. Right. I don't know why that is on the same shoe, the same foot. That's obviously to do with my toe. Um, yeah. I, there is manufacturing. Then, um, obviously, like in the, the Zoom Fly, the Zoom Fly, the only problem with the Zoom, you know, it, it's quite hard here. And obviously, the, with your Achilles, you, you, I tend to kind of bend that out, you know, because you don't really want that touch. Yeah. Because yeah. that bends out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had a look around. And then another forty-five pound one, the Zoom Fly SP. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, nothing here. So, 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 so the SP, I like to think is like, um, let's say, if you're into your phones, so has gone from an iPhone seven to an iPhone seven S. Yes. This is this is the one before. This is probably when they're testing out the materials for the like, you know, the the, the higher the higher model. The high end ones. The yeah, high, yeah, yeah. They still got a carbon plate. Um, see through, so basically any any socks that you we can put you know colours. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's light, lot lighter. Yeah, yeah. So, it's light, so how one. do you find those? What again? Do you do all your types of runs in those? <laughs> no, I've got another pair of SPs. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what basically was um, when they come up? I'm not looking at the moment. I go on eBay. I type in my size. This time of year isn't the time to buy. The prices have gone, you know, right up at the moment. Yeah. The shoe on eBay now is probably about ninety pounds. Right, right. I got it at forty-five. So to buy it out of season, so more winter time. Yeah, because a lot of people wear these shoes as a kind of casual shoe. You know, it's mm -hmm. quite a nice looking shoe. You know, that that's quite yeah. a casual, yeah. casual shoe. Yeah. They don't buy it for its purpose. You know, it's right. got a, it's got a you know a nylon plate in it. <laughs> and you do, you do feel that the first time you wear it. Yeah. It's like a, yeah. like a walking shoe. You get that kind of, there's something here. That kind of, there. Yeah. Once yeah. you've worn it, you don't feel that. And, and as I say, it will make you run 
I reckon about 10 to 15 seconds of a mile quicker. And that's the standard Zoom fly, isn't it? Yeah. That's standard Zoom fly. And, and if you speak to people, the Zoom fly one is probably the best one. Yeah. That everyone contacted. It's like anything, it's, you know, things have got bigger and heavier. So whether it be cars, shoes, I think mm. the Zoom fly three is heavier. Than yeah, the, I've got a Zoom fly three and I don't get on with them at all. They're heavy. Um, yeah. And obviously I won't, I won't talk in detail about it but i'm doing a, a review of how it compares with just a foam based yeah. trainer and uh i can categorically say it don't make you any faster yeah. so I'd, re I'd recommend that if, you, if you're going to get shoes probably go for your, your turbo and your zoom fly but you need to rotate them if you yeah. wear your yeah. if you wear a, a carbon plated shoe of some sort I think if I wore that every day, that would give me calf problems and Achilles. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I rotate, so I might wear, you know, this one one day, this one the next day, and then I throw in a you know, Zoom fly. Yeah. Yeah. The, the SPs that one of them's for racing only, and one of yeah. them's for time trials, and that's it. I don't wear them. Right. So out. you're literally rotating on just three shoes, yeah. Um, four, four. So, four. so the, these. Four. Okay. The, these are these are my rotation. Um, and then I do a time trial and I just I find that works the best yeah because I must admit when you messaged me saying about all the shoes I thought oh no we're going to have a, an Amelda Markov of uh, running shoes yeah. but it is just the four so when yeah. I see people with like 10 or 12 I, yeah. think, I, I just find that a bit OTT do you think it's... well with the new balance I, I've got quite a few new balance um, that obviously I don't wear so obviously you've got the Zantes that, that come out I got these for I think about fifty quid. Yeah. Is that a discount, um, and then obviously went for the, the 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 pursuit. But this was was nothing like this. This was mm. this was mm. you know for at the time. Yeah. Thinking yeah. back, there's nothing you don't you don't get any kind of any cushion in here. Yeah. It was a shoe. This I hated it. it was, <laughs> it's nothing to it. It's really light. No cushion in. I just hated it. I think I put. I don't know how many miles in this one. Uh, probably about sixty miles. Trying to give it a right, chance, right. but but these just become daily trainers now because of yeah. my kids. Okay. So it's not a case that you uh, put them back on eBay or give them away or throw them away. Is you you use them as walking general yeah. walking shoes I, I and think stuff. Most of my shoes, I will use them until they're done. So so, so yeah. running shoe yeah. once it's done can be used as a walking you know nice. a general right. train. It, it doesn't mean you have to throw them away. It doesn't no. mean no. give them to someone. You know they're still. A good there's still life in them to walk in them yes they're yes. not to run exactly. you know the missus doesn't understand that i only get four or five hundred pounds you know four hundred four five hundred miles out of a shoe and then after and then done she goes yeah, but they look fine yeah, but they're not you know you start picking up nick you can feel it yeah uh, but but most shoes that i've got here i reckon between four and six hundred miles i get out of them yeah, yeah, that that's excellent. So, in terms of your top tip, then, Chris, and obviously people know me as Discount Don, but you'd say obviously uh, Discount Chris or um, check out Chris. Yeah. Would you say that uh, eBay is one of your best go-to places for good good deals? Yeah. But not at this time of year. More around winter time. Yeah, more winter time. Don't buy the top end shoes because obviously there's more chance of the fake being out there. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, so on, the on current your alpha fly that's out could be a fake. Could I, I don't know if the alpha fly might you know the alpha fly is is commanding big money so that's probably legit. But if yeah. you see a cheap next percent is you know look at videos on YouTube you yes. will see they're not real. <laughs> you know, you, you're buying a knockoff. Yeah, yeah, I I did see one guy in in Australia do. Uh, I think he wore the knockoff pair. Yeah, he knew they were knockoffs. Yeah, yeah. And his wife was wearing the originals, yeah. and his fell apart after about ten miles. Yeah, no, <laughs> but they no, looked no. good originally, you know. Yeah, but... It's like buying a fake watch, you know. It looks good. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It's not a real thing. So, it's, so, so I think with the lower end stuff, then I think you're pretty safe. Yeah. Um, it, the only thing I noticed on the SP here was I wore it the first time and it's supposed to have this kind of, um, it's like a material kind of stripes. Yeah. yeah. The they picked off and I ended up pulling them all off. But I think that's because it was maybe stored in, in you know, for a couple of years, maybe in a cupboard. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. You know, but 
for for a shoe for forty five quid, you know, you can't you can't go wrong. A nice looking shoe. Yeah. And exactly. Why am I going to pay two hundred pounds for a shoe that's probably going to cost me about a pound a mile? Yeah. Yeah. Where am I going to wear it? I can't train it. I can just <laughs> a mile. I know that some people watching maybe find a way of justifying it, but uh, I, I I understand. See, I've got this philosophy that whilst those shoes may be a year old, yeah. they were good enough a year ago, and they're yeah. still brand new or got very low mileage if you're buying them second hand on eBay. So why not? And you're saving a considerable amount of money. And if you think about it, I mean, if you've got four on rotation. And each yeah. of those shoes were like two hundred pounds each, and you've got them for say fifty. You've saved one hundred and fifty pound each. That's that's a holiday for two weeks in yeah. Greece. Yeah, I've got these four shoes here, which are the same price as the next percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, it, uh, and my philosophy is: Will it make me run for? You know, yes. If you're probably doing a marathon, it will probably save your legs. Yeah. But you know, if you want to run faster, just train harder. <laughs> train harder. It's, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. You know, yeah. you. You know, the, 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 yes, they will make you run a bit quicker, and the carbon plates do. They do work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, from my experience, and you know, it. Uh, and I've seen people, you know, have gone out and buy, you know, these carbon plate shoes, and they've been surprised at how quick they can they can run. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that because you're you're going against physics with the carbon pushing against you, that you do pick up, you know, injuries in your foot, ankle, yeah, yeah. calf, if you're using them on a regular basis. That's right. That's right. So in summary, then, Chris, you'd say that uh, having a good rotation helps, but having looking for the good deals is great. Yeah. But obviously, having been through and I mentioned about the full interview, you talk about the uh, injuries that you picked up when you find a particular brand. And obviously you found that Nike works for you. Would you say that sticking with the brand different styles of shoes yeah. works works best for you? Yeah, I, I think if you start chopping, changing on, you know, hill drops and stuff like that, then, you know, it doesn't sound, you know, four millimetres here or there, but you will possibly pick up injuries. You know, you might be Feel fine. the difference, what's, yeah. You know, what's the saying? Don't fix it if it's not broken. Yes, yeah. You know, it, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Yeah, same with cars. You, you, you buy a brand. If the car's good to you, then you buy, you carry on with that brand. You know, yes. we're, yeah. And that's just just the way it works, you know. Wh yeah. Why change it? Yeah, am I going to go out and buy the latest model? No. <laughs> am I going to carry on buying Zoom flies if I can find them? Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And talking of second hand, my daughter started running and she wanted to have some shoes like mine, so went on eBay thirty five quid for a size uh, six in the Zoom Pi S threes. Just bought. She'd worn them twice, the lady. Yeah, twice. And twice she probably bought them from night got a 25 percent off wore them twice she paid about 75 pound for them we got them for 35 yeah and, and you can tell just by looking at the shoe of the wear you yeah. know especially in, in these zoom flies and stuff you know the amount of creases on the heel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and so, so to, you know I, I necessarily probably wouldn't buy a second hand shoe because obviously i'm looking for a shoe that's gonna you know i'm gonna put four, i'm gonna put the full you know Four, six hundred miles, yeah, yeah. And I know to need, I need to know how many miles are in that shoe. Yeah, yeah. But Absolutely. you know, when you're starting out, get a second hand shoe. Don't, yeah. don't go and spend money. The the only time I would say to you to pay full price is to when you go to a shop to have your gait measured, you're on a treadmill, trying to find out what shoe you need, whether you're a neutral shoe, whether you're over pronate, you know. Yeah. That's probably yeah. the time. Spend money in that shop and get the shoe yeah. that's for you and then get your bargains later on. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for the wise words, uh, Chris, and sharing all your shoe collection that you have there. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here on the uh, Running Shoe channel. And maybe we'll chat later on some new shoes to you, what will be happening over the maybe the coming weeks or months. But thank Great. you so much for your time. Sure. Nice to meet you. Take care and all the best to your family. Thank you all so right. much. Be safe.